explain that it was a toxic situation between you and them towards the end of the connection, not so much in the beginning, but this person was very sneaky in the past. Now they're going to open up. Now they're going to say, I don't want to be without you. I don't, I can't live without you. They're going to become very obsessive or they are being obsessive over you or will become obsessive over you, or they just cannot stop thinking about you and how they treated you. So, so karma is getting this person's ass. This is what I'm hearing from spirit. Show me the four of pentacles in the reverse, please. Trusted ancestors. Yeah, see, somebody's coming in with a rightfully owed apology. Page of Cups. This person could have also been very immature, Scorpio, whoever you're dealing with. Or if this was a job situation, there was a lot of immaturity in and around your work environment. And if you haven't left that job just yet, you're going to feel it. You're going to see it. And you're probably already feeling it and seeing it right now that something here needs to be cut out or released. Maybe you feel that there's a coworker that owes you an apology. Message from the Page of Cups. Somebody from the past could be saying, Hey, do you remember me? Remember how much you loved me? Remember how much we were in love together? Remember how much I loved you? <laughs> mm. King of Pentacles. I see this both in the reverse, but I had to flip it around to see who or what it is. Okay, it's the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn energy for some of you. We've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio going on. This could have been somebody that you are that you were married to, or this is somebody that you could have possibly wanted to marry or saw a long-term future with, or this person could have been married and you fell in love with somebody who was married, but you were waiting for that person maybe to get a divorce or maybe for them to leave their karmic wife or karmic husband karmic girlfriend, karmic boyfriend, doesn't matter. But they could have been double dealing. You know what I'm saying? They could have been a double dealer where they were juggling you and somebody else. But I also feel here too that somebody is wanting to level up. Now they want to give you commitment all of a sudden out of nowhere. Why would that be trusted ancestors? Why is this So it's from the King of Pentacles. Yeah, see, because because you were there over the rainbow moment, Scorpio. Now they now they see the light. <laughs> now they see the light. Now they see the truth. Or this could be a boss figure that may be un, unjustifiable, uh, might have fired you for some of you guys. And now they want you back because maybe you weren't the one that was incompetent. Maybe your boss is seeing the ones who are incompetent in and around the environment. Somebody, somebody's boss could be asking you guys to come back and work for them again. Or for some of you guys, you're walking away from a job situation. You've put out resumes or um, have been um, putting out applications and it looks like you're gonna get hired. You could get hired over the next 10 days or in the month of October for some of you, or you did. But somebody here wants emotional joy, peace, contentment, and harmony with you. And somebody does want to reconcile. Somebody wants to reconcile. They don't want to hold back anymore. In the past, they were trapped. They put themselves into their own Harry Houdini self-imposed prison. Maybe you felt like your job situation was a prison. Maybe you just couldn't handle it, couldn't take it anymore, Scorpio. But no matter what, you're going to end up being very victorious. Message from the Ten of Cups, please. Yes, somebody wants to reunite with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want to come together. It's going to be you and only you. Somebody here wants to heal the situation with you, Scorpio. Here's the power of number 17. I did say we could see the star card kick in. Okay, so you could be dealing straight up with an Aquarius. Somebody could see that you're growing up and glowing up and you're getting your way, Scorpio. A lot of good things are going to be happening for you guys also, too, in 2022. Somebody is seeing you shine bright like a diamond. And they and now it's like they want to be a part of this. Now they don't want to let you go. 
Now they want to open up and express feelings and emotions. Now they want to tell you that they're not dealing with some form of a karmic third party situation, whether it's their job life, their career, if they were dating somebody or married to somebody. Now they want to have it all with you. Interesting. Very interesting. So, Scorpio, for those of you born on October 29th, thank you so much for, again for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Happy birthday, Scorpio, and take care.